Hey Aries, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nelly, aka Owl Tarot. Guys, I want to thank you for being here with me for your weekend reading what's coming towards you this weekend. Um, guys, before we get started, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Click on that notification bell so you can get notified when I post new readings. Um, if you're a returning subscriber, guys, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys, okay? All right, guys, as you all know, my readings are meant to be timeless, timeless general love readings. So it may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does leave the rest behind. Um, guys, this reading can have to do with new love or past love. So don't forget to check your other placements so you may get a better understanding of this energy. Time is fluid. So whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot. So please reverse the roles as need be. Alrighty, Aries. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Let's get started, guys. We're tapping into the person's energy, the person that you're currently thinking about. What's coming towards you this weekend in love with this person? I went ahead and I meditated. I shuffled. I pulled the cards and I just been meditating, preparing myself for this reading. And there is a lot of things going on between you and this person, Aries. First of all, I want to start with this person sees you as the Queen of Cups. They have a lot of love for you. You have a lot of love for them. The love is 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 there. This person knows that the love is there, okay? With the Ace of Wands here, this person has wants this new beginning. They, they're passionate about having this new beginning with you. They will be communicating with you here with the Eight of Wands. They, it's going to start off, I feel like it's going to start off like simple little text messages Hey, how you're doing? Hey, what's up? Trying to feel the waters, trying to see if you're still interested in having a conversation with them. This person truly and honestly understands that what they did in the past was a lot of deception. They were lying, um, keeping things from you. They were just, they were not being truthful to you at all. This person was definitely breadcrumbing you. And this doesn't necessarily mean that they were breadcrumbing you with another situation, meaning a third party. But it could have been that your person was putting too much attention, too much energy in friends, families, you know, other things that were not you, okay? Other things that, that really didn't have much to do with you, they were putting their energy elsewhere. This person understands and realizes where they've made the mistakes. They get it. They they've come to terms with this with the where the situation where they made the mistakes. This is why they've been triggered to move forward towards you with the chariot. Now with the eight of wands here and the chariot, this person's gonna come to you out of nowhere, unexpectedly. Okay, you're gonna start getting communication unexpectedly. You're gonna bump into this person unexpectedly. You're you're. You're going to be like doing something, possibly even throwing out the garbage, and here comes this person walking down your, your walkway, okay? But this person is just going to come out of nowhere. Because this person has been illuminated, and they have come to realize that they're not, they don't want to give up on this connection. They do not want to give up on this connection. This person sees you as wounded. They see you as a strong, fighting person, and they don't want to give up on you. They don't want to give up on you because they have that same energy. They're wounded as well. By their own fault, though, okay, because they did this to themselves. They could have been in a good connection, but they chose to go down the wrong path. But this person doesn't want to give up on this connection. When I say this person is planning to come towards you, this person is in the middle of planning this, this communication with you, this possible bumping into you thing. They want to come towards you. They want to speak to you. They want to have a conversation with you. Why? Because they're no longer confused. They're no longer in the high priestess energy in the reverse. They're no longer confused. They know what they want. They know where they want this relationship to go. They also come to, like I told you, they've come to terms and understood where they made a mistake. You know, this person knows where they've made mistakes and they're willing to come back and they want to fix this with you. They want to communicate with you. But like I told you, this is going to come out of nowhere. This communication is going to come out of nowhere. You're not going to expect it. And it's going to start off slowly with text messages. And before you know it, boom, the person's right at your doorstep. Okay. All right, Aries, let's get some um, romance angels advice here so we can go ahead and close out your reading. Universe, what's going on with Aries? Aries, my Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What advice do you have for my Aries dealing with this person? What advice do you have with my Aries dealing with this person? Now, guys, keep in mind, this could be new love. This could be past love. And this could have just been a bump in the road between your new 
the new person that you're you're deep you were dealing with or the past person that you were dealing with okay past what i mean like about a year ago or so could be who knows but take it as resonate guys i'm sorry all righty what's going on with my aries here universe what's going on with my aries here oh, okay passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy this person like i told you this person's coming in for a passion they, they passionately want this new beginning this person has a lot of passion for you aries you might have a lot of passion for them too let's see what else here what else here for my aries what other advice do you have for aries advice, please. true love this is the romance of a lifetime aries you're in love with this person this person is in love with you aries okay you guys have a lot of passion here. You guys have the love here. It's just this misunderstanding right here. I don't feel that it's a third party situation. I don't feel that you and this person are broken up because of of another, you know, another interference, a man or a woman. I just feel it's because this person was putting too much energy, too much time in other things and not in you, Aries. That's what caused the miscommunication here. That's what caused the breakup here. Heart to heart conversation. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. I told you, this person is plotting and planning how to come towards you, Aries, and have this heart to heart conversation with you. This person wants to, wants a new beginning with you. This person has had the time to think about their past mistakes and they're ready to come towards you and they're ready to come towards you in, in with this passionate feeling that they do love you they have a lot of passion for you and they want to rekindle this connection they want to work on this connection all right okay my beautiful aries i hope this resonated for you guys please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye